Hello my planner pals and welcome back. If you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today we are flipping through my decorative journal. So this was actually the recovery planner cover that I've just turned inside out. I just prefer this. I don't know why, I just like the look of this. So I was using, you'll see as we go, I was using the vertical layout and then partway through the year I've changed into a dot grid. So again, I'm just repurposing these dividers. Uh, these, I don't think they're even all the same. Yeah, they're all different, just different dividers from different planners through the years. I don't use a monthly. I just go straight into the weeks and you'll see some evolution of my decorative planning journey. So again, I was using the vertical, but I was whiting out the lines because I don't care whether this is Monday or this is Monday. All it is, is getting stuff from my brain onto paper so that I don't have to think about it anymore. So this was using the quotes book. These cats are from Dollar Tree. And I think this is just a mishmash. These are just labels, like sticky labels from Target. Like, yeah. Just a bunch of stuff. And again, I just write anywhere. Does it doesn't matter? I just write anywhere. The the point is to get it out of your head and onto paper. So if you remember, this spread was for Rini's birthday. Rini's birthday was on the Monday, the 16th. And because she likes flowers, I just did a flower, a floral spread. I don't really do that many floral spreads, but I love them when they're like this. These are Dollar Tree wall decals that I mixed with some printable boxes and some stuff from the quote book and some washi. I love it. I absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites from the year. This was one that I did as an example of using Dollar Tree vinyl stickers. This was again wall decals. I have a bunch of this left over and I'm like I need to use some of it. I like it, I don't love it and this is what I am realizing is as I'm going through this it's the layout that I don't like. I don't know why each week I'm deciding to wipe these lines out. It just seems crazy. So I like this, I don't love it. I think it's got some of the student book in it as well. But yeah, I like it, I don't love it. So then we come into February, I'm still widening out the lines on this spread because I just want to fill in anywhere. This is using, feels like sunshine, feels like sunshine, <laughs> feels like sunshine. And I use these, these had like a little circle in them, like five minutes, 10 minutes and stuff like that. And I showed you how to redate using those. I like this, I just didn't use it that much this week. This was using the Happy Life book. I love it. I I like it, yeah. I love these. I don't I don't know. There's something about this I don't like. It just seems very mishmashy. Mishmashy. Mishmashy is a word. This was using my Valentine's kit along with Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this mix. I think, I wish I'd have put more of this kind of mint green in because I just think my eye is just drawn to these and them not being in a, the triangle just messes with my brain. This should have been over here and I probably would have been happier, but yeah, I like it. I don't love it. I like it more than the previous spread, but I don't love it. This was again using those dog ones. I can't think what this one's called. I can't think what the sticker book's called. But it's got all the dogs in it. And there's like birds and stuff. Like there's animals in it. And I can't think what the sticker book's called. It's gonna annoy me. But yeah, I love this. I love this. I'm glad that I stuck with the same pen throughout. And I liked these little button circle stickers for the dates. Love it. I'm just annoyed that I did not get out of using the vertical layout sooner. So again, here we are. I hate this one. And I think I said in my other video, 
I hate this one purely for the fact that all I see is color. I don't see the stickers. I think there's a way to balance the stickers and the journaling, and this is not it. If I had to do this one again, I would use the gold pen that I used here for the journaling. This was using patterned paper. So all of these little squares are patterned paper. These are some stickers from Dollar Tree. And I just used a bunch of mishmash of stuff. This was like a stash spread. It's like a D stash spread. Yes. This was using uh, one of the color story books and I like it. I tried to get a bit out of my comfort zone because I put this box in the sidebar, like over, over here, the three things of washi, more, ver more horizontal lines. I just try to get a bit out of my comfort zone. I like it. Again, I don't love it. And I think this is when I started really realizing that this vertical spread and whiting out the lines was one, getting tedious, and two, I kind of like to think about my spreads as one, one page, and I don't like this. I don't like things ending like there. So yeah, it's, there's just a lot of brain stuff here. This one was fun, and I love this spread because a couple of reasons. This is pattern paper. These are sticky notes, printable boxes, washi and pen there's literally like five stickers on here like five proper planner stickers on here yeah that's when i broke my jack skeleton mug mm -hmm. sad panda i love this however this was a um a dollar tree war decal and the hustle and heart book the one thing that bothers me about this is I wish I'd have done this, like knowing what I know now, I wish I'd have done this on dot grid paper because the lines bug me. And what bugs me is the fact that this goes all the way across and then this I've got the sidebar. I wish I'd have done this on dot grid paper, but I love this. I love this layout still. And this is one of my favorites for 2023. However, can you see what's wrong with this? Can you see? Can you see what's wrong with this? These have lines on them and these don't. And I didn't even notice this until I think it was the end of the month and I was flipping through and I was like, oh, that's got lines on it. But these butterflies are Dollar Tree. And I know that I said, I don't like monochromatic. In my journal, the rules are different. <laughs> In my journal, the rules are different. That is what I will say. The rules are different in my journal because if I don't come into this or I come into it a few times and I'm just like journaling in this little bit and I leave the rest blank, it's fine. But in my planner, I actually need to use my planner. And if it's like this in my planner, I won't use it. But yeah, but also I think the monochromatic works because it's fun. But yeah, these are Dollar Tree. This was... Again, one of the colourful light, no, God, what are they called? The colour story books. I love this. I don't like the journaling so much. Again, it's that thick pen. That pen is different to this pen. It's different black. If I'm using black pen, it needs to be the same black because black comes in different shades of black. This is a purple black. This is a yellow black. The difference annoys me. I hate this one. This was, again, a mishmash. I was trying to do um, rainbows for Earth Day, and I don't like it. Maybe it would have been different if I'd used the same color pen. I don't know. I don't like it. This was Tiana because it was Save the Frogs month, and Tiana has the frogs, clearly. But I love this. I love this. Again, I need something fun. I like the thick washi in this planner because it works in this planner doesn't work in my wellness planner. I like this a lot. Again, I don't do a currently, I don't do a monthly. And notice, vertical, switched to dot grid. This was when I showed you how to use the background 
on some of those pages that have the little circles in, but they have the colored background. Look at that. Look at how I'm, I need to do this again. I need to do this again. And this may be something that I do soon, soon. But yes, I need to do this again. I like this effect of having a border on each side. And I just put in something that I was grateful for each day. The one thing I don't like about this is that this purple doesn't match this purple. Now that I think about it, that purple would have been a good match for Girl With Goals. But we live and learn. So if you have that teacher book, I think it's a teacher book, that will probably match the Girl With Goals. But I didn't think about it at the time. Again, we're dot grid. I think I'm in dot grid for the rest of the, the year now because I was just like, yeah, actually, I, does this have dots on it? No, this is just plain. This is just plain. So that was dot grid. This is just plain. And again, I used uh, Happy Life. And I'm using the bleeds from most of these boxes. Yeah, they're mostly all bleeds. I'm just using stash. I'm trying to use up the book. There's still a very little bit itty bitty bit left of that book and I'm trying to use it like this. I'm going to try and use it in stuff like this and I think that might have been why I used the plane so that I could just put the stickers down. This is one of my top 10 of the year. I freaking love this. This was the Be Happy book or something from Hobby Lobby. I love this. Using the washi, again thin ish washi. I like having the washi and then the little bit here. And this was when I started to think, could I use a horizontal? It's been, I mean, I know I started using a horizontal this year, but before this, it was probably a good five years since I was thinking about using a horizontal. It did not work. It doesn't work for me for a planner, but for a journal, I thought it might work. It might actually work. Um, I've put these in here because this is too personal. It's personal stuff. This was the, I don't remember what, this is one of the floral books, I think, and the villainous. I love it. I love it. And again, the difference for me is that this pen, the black matches this black. I don't like when my blacks are not the same black. When my blacks are not the same black. I put in a monthly. I decided I was going to try and do a monthly and do my challenges in this because I switched my my wellness planner to more wellnessy challenges. I was like, okay, if I do a personal development challenge, I'm going to put it in my journal. I just, I can't keep track of that many monthlies of keeping up with something each day. I love this layout. I also think I overestimated how much gardening I can do. I took sick for three days, five days there. I was sick for five days there. I think I overestimated how much I could actually do. 15 minutes when you can barely move your knee is still a lot. It's still a lot. This I love. This was using the mega seasonal book from 2022. I love it. I think the pen is great. Um, and you'll see this start coming up using, again, the letter stickers to spell words. I did that back on that B one on here using the letter stickers. I love doing that now. It's one of my favorite things to do. But I love this spread. This one was a recollections book. I think this prompt was Journal June for the Planner TNT Challenge because I have these little pens everywhere. And I, these were from the Girl With Goals, I think. And I was like, I'm not gonna use those. Let's put them in here as like, that's a new journaling bit. Like my, my section, my little journaling sections. I love this. This one, not so much. These mermaids are from Dollar Tree. We've got student book, question mark. This Colorful Life. There's a mishmash of stuff. A mishmash of stuff. I think it works. Again, what I think is I get a pen to match the colour and that when it dries, it's not the same colour. And that annoys me. When it first goes down, it's the same colour. And then when it dries, it's not the same colour. It's annoying. This is one of my top three of the year. 
I love this. This is my Flamingos spread. These are printable, they're in my Etsy store. I absolutely, like, I just can't tell you how much I love this. I love this. I love this beyond all love. And it was doing this weird thing. I hadn't done this before, separated it into these weird shapes. I love it. I think it works. And then I have this complete mishmash. And that, I think that's sometimes what I like is like a complete change week to week. Because that just seems like totally out of the box. And then you get this and you're just like, what the hell? But this was a mishmash of fitness books, of color story, just, yeah, mishmash, mishmash, mishmash. This one was something like, it was for a challenge, I think, or I just decided to show you how to use these dots. And I've done these dots before. These dots are the Avery dots that you can get in the stationery section at Target and Walmart and Staples and stuff. They cost a couple of dollars. They come in tons of different colors. You get like 200 in a pack. You can use them decoratively. I've done so many spreads with these decoratively. These were from, I want to say the quote book. And then I just chose a pen to match. I love it. I love it. And this washi, I took far too long doing this washi in this shape. Far too long. Far too long. But again, we're dot grid and I love dot grid. This was the Let Your Heart Wonder book. I do not like this spread. I think it's the pen. Again, it's the thick pen. I don't like the thick pen. It's funny. I start off using it and I'm like, yeah, this is fine. And then when I see it afterwards, I'm like, yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Love this one though. This is one of my top favorites for 2023. This was one that I did where I just decided that I was going to do a symmetry spread. I love it because it just, like everything lines up perfectly. Mirror image of itself. You've got Mickey and then Minnie. Love it. And again, this was the Mickey, the friends, Mickey and friends or whatever it is book. I love it. This is Agenda 52 and I like it. We've got some just regular washi. I don't know what book this is. It's something like Girls or something. Something Girls. And it's like the girls are in a different environment, each little section. But it's a very self-care spread, which is what I needed this week. So, yes. This was for a challenge for Colouring Book Day. And I used, these are part of my colouring book, my printable colouring book available on Etsy. You can just print them out. Again, you don't need a bunch of stuff. And I just colored them in. Just color them in using pens. And then I use black and white. I mean, it just, yeah. If you don't have pattern paper, make your own. Get some coloring pages, color them in, stick them in your planner. I like it. I like it a lot. This one is kind of meh. It's kind of meh. But I decided that this whole sticker book is kind of meh. Again, it's the blandness of the stickers. The stickers are not colourful enough for me. If I could go back in time, I would not have bought this sticker book. This one, I mean, look at that. And then look at this. This is beautiful. These are Rini's dragons. Um, that is Rini from the Enchanted Planner. She has these beautiful dragon stickers and floral stickers in her store. These are a printable, I love it. Again, horizontal layout. And that's when I really, again, started thinking, I could probably do a horizontal layout. I think it's probably gonna get boring after a bit, but I think I might flip every other month. One month do horizontal, one month do a dot grid. But I love, I love the look of this. I love the look of this. Again, I use these little letter stickers. Yes, I'm so down for this. This is what I showed you because it's kind of like back to school time, back to school week or whatever. I showed you how to use these like in the teacher books. They have these like sheets of stickers. Like you can just make a fun teacher spread using those stickers. You can just make a fun teacher spread using those stickers, a back to school spread. So yeah, that's what we have here. And then I just used these because I needed to use them up and that's where they went. Again, 
Same as that purple one, these are the Dollar Tree War decals, these little magnolia flowers, love, and then I used the green printable boxes. I mean, this spread cost pennies, pennies, 125 for a bunch of these, and I haven't even used half of them, and then printable boxes and a pen. That's all that's on here. That's all that's on there, and I love it. It looked better before my scrawly writing, but one of my top five for the year. This is my sunflowers available in my Etsy store. I freaking love this. I love this. And I said this in my 23 and 23 video. My only complaint with this is I wish I'd used brown pen and not black or green pen. The black's too much. I wish I'd used brown or green. Yeah, that's my only regret with this spread, but I love this spread. And that's funny that I've wrote here. Huck is the cutest puppy. So many spots, love the patch. That is the puppy that we got. This spread was created using the dashboard, the printable dashboard that I give out, my free dashboard from, I think it was August. And all I did was just tear it, tear it, stick it down, add some boxes and call it done. I didn't finish it because we went on vacation. Also, notice how I put October here. It's actually September. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, we don't have the rest of that because we were on vacation. This was Ariel. I don't remember why I chose Ariel, but maybe I was just trying to use my Disney books. I don't know. I loved it before the pen. I don't like it after the pen. I'm not sure why. I just don't like it. I, just don't, I, I don't know whether it's just too many colors, but I was trying to do like Ariel mermaid and then ariel the human here like mermaid ariel and then human ariel i just don't think it works yeah but there we are all right and then we have this one this was for harry potter book day and i had these stickers from one of the halloween books that i got the previous year from michael's it was just like a little tiny sticker book and I thought this just remind me, reminded me of the removing staircase in the books and the movies. So yeah, is it Harry Potter-ish, kind of? For me it is, and that's what matters, right? But I love this, I love the pen, I love everything about this, everything. Then we have this one, again, I love this. This was the sticker book that Rebecca sent me, the Anna Bean. So colorful, so bright, so much yes. And I just think it showed you that if you are doing a decorative journal, you don't need to really think much about things. You just have to slap the stickers down and then fill in the spaces afterwards. And the only thing that I don't like about this is this. This pen again is a different color pen, different color black to the black here. This is the purpley black and this is the regular kind of yellowy black, yellowy black. That's that same color. Yeah, I, I just wish I need to stop mixing my black pens. This was for the week we had up. We had Cosmo here. We picked up Cosmo this week. And then this was a spread that I did to kind of document all of his stuff, all of the, the memories and stuff that we had and the feelings. I decided to do this diagonally just on a whim. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie, I like it. I like doing different things like this. And this is one of the things that I'm realizing. I like using the dot grid for this reason. I can do whatever I like in here. I can put it diagonally if I want to put it diagonally. If I want to do this big strip down here, I can do that. If I want to do a strip across here of patterned paper, I can do that. Like when you have a, a layout, that's already pre-printed, you're limiting your options. And I think that's something that I'm going to struggle with as I'm doing the horizontal in January. As much as I've loved decorating it the last couple of weeks, I am already missing the creative freedom of the dot grid. So we'll see. But I like this. This was the pet book. I don't remember where these quotes were from, but from one of the Happy Planner books. 
pet book from Hobby Lobby. All right, then we head into November. This was my Monopoly Day spread. Monopoly Day or something like that. And yeah, Monopoly Day, November the 5th. And I got the little Monopoly Junior set from Dollar Tree. And I just decided that I was going to cut it and stick it in my planner. These are the little money things. These are the little chance cards on the back of here is something to be grateful for. And yeah, and I just put that on with little washi dots. I love this. This is so fun to me. Um, but yeah, again, this is, this is what I like to do. Something different and fun. And I feel a little stuck in a groove with my horizontal. So we shall see how long that lasts. This was using the Dollar Tree 3D stickers. These are 3D stickers that I just cut the foam adhesive between. This was from a student book. Washi, printable boxes, some pen. And this pen was ones that I bought in 2022. And this was the Bic, Bic something pens. It's like a little, like a, a biro, basically, a biro pen. But yeah, I love it. I think it... The pen matches perfectly. I love this. I love it a lot. And then we have a blackout spread because it was Black Friday and I figured why not. This was again used in the Recollections book. I don't remember what it's called. Hustle something, whatever. Heels and Hustle maybe? I don't remember. I used the gold pen. I think it's the Pilot G2. I like this. I think for a blackout spread, this one works. This one works. I like it quite a lot. This was the Essential Seasons. Again, I like little clusters. This is what I've discovered if I'm, not, if I'm doing this, and I'm still doing this in the horizontal. Little clusters. Little clusters and some horizontal washi is my fallback. Is my fallback. I like this. I think I made the right choice on the pen. And yes, I like it. I wish I'd done more mm, pop-out. I'm going to call them pop-out words for the journaling because the journaling is kind of like all mixed in, the same as this. I wish there was more highlight words. I call them highlight words. But yeah, I like it. I like it quite a lot. And then for December, this was for Dotty December. I used, again, the Avery Colourful Dots and this Colourful Life. I love this. I don't know why I have a little post-it in there. But, oh, it's got some sticky on it because I've got a dog and yeah, so we've got some sticky on there. There we go. So yeah, but I love this. And then I just put my thankful list up here. My gratitude list is up here in between all of the baubles. I love it. It's Christmassy without being over the top. It's not as monochromatic as it could be because I've got some red, some gold. I don't know, this one works for me. This one works for me. This was using the new Mega Holiday book. I don't think I did a plan with me for this, but I love this. I didn't finish off journaling here because it was my birthday and I just kept forgetting to come into this. But yeah, I love this. And I used, I don't know if you can see, I used a silver pen to go with the silver in the stickers and the washi and everything. And I did something that I haven't done for ages, and that was to put washi at the top and the bottom. I don't know why, I just felt that it needed it. But I love that this washi matches the blue, but I love this. I love it. And then we have one of my kits. This is my winter florals kit. I like it. I didn't put anything in here because Christmas, Christmas Eve, all of the run up to Christmas. I used a very light green pen. I don't know if you can even see some of that journaling, but I used a very light green pen along with the blue. Um, I wish I'd filled this in. I might have to go back fill this because I just feel like it needs more blue here. That's what's kind of bothering me about this, but I love this kit. I love this kit. I love these florals. And then for the week leading up to New Year's and New Year's Eve, I decided to do like the Cinderella going to the ball. And I used, can you see? I don't, 
some glare. I use gold pen. I use gold pen in this. And that's what I'm realizing I like. I like the background to blend in so that I can still see the stickers. Because I can still see the stickers there. The stickers stick out. <laughs> the stickers stick out. The stickers are the focal point. That's what I like. I like the stickers to be the focal point. Maybe that's what I'm just realizing. I like the stickers to be the focal point. Focal point. Focal point. Focal point. Oh, okay. We've just discovered something. I like the stickers to be the focal point. Stickers are the focal point. Stickers are the focal point. Focal point. And this is where it starts getting messy. I think the journaling is the focal point on this. Again, maybe it was the color of the pen that I should have done differently. Focal point. Focal point. Again, should have been a different color pen. Okay, well, there we go. We've just learned something. Yeah, and the stickers are the focal point. Ah, oh, well, I have just learned something about my own journaling. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this and you just saw an insight into how I use my decorative planner, my creative planner. Right now, I am using a horizontal. I don't know how much I will be using this for. I may switch back to my dot grid purely because I'm already discovering that I'm falling into a pattern of just putting the washi over the gray bars. I need something with a bit more openness to it, a bit more creativity to it. So I think I may in February switch back to my dot grid. I just love my dot grid. It gives me more creative freedom and I like that. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, if you're looking for videos on creative journaling, how to start, etc., etc., I do have a video here with some tips. So check that out. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and ring the notification bell so that you get updates when I post a new video because sometimes YouTube does not show you when I've posted a video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, bye.